John Richardson here. Each of us is a specialist in a product out here because we got so many of them. We know a little about most of them and each of us knows a whole lot about one. My preference is Arctic Fox, Northwood, made in La Grande, Oregon. Can't get any bigger because they can't hire no more people. They got them all hired that want to work, that is. So, your Arctic Fox, this is the 32A rear living room. It's a big boy. You're not going to pull this with a Subaru. You're not going to pull it with a half-ton truck. But I'm going to show you why you would want a big truck to pull this. If you're going to do some serious RVing, there is absolutely no better trailer made in my opinion, and I've only been doing this right here at Guarantee for 29 years. We start with a frame that Northwood makes themselves. They not only make that frame, but they have a third party that says, yeah, it's built to the correct specifications. So we get the frame on it. Well, we got to put a front end cap. You'll notice this end cap goes from the top of the roof all the way down to the bottom of the frame. That's a one piece fiberglass cap. What that does is eliminate any possibility of leaks, gives you the aerodynamics. This is a big heavy boy. You want all the aerodynamics you can get. You ever see a semi without that big wind thing up on top that's kind of the same thing here LED lighting designed so that when the wind hits that it goes right up over the top scoops down over the backside and actually gets behind you and does some of this it's it's pushing you a little bit to help you get better gas mileage you'll notice here we got the electric lift we got two seven and a half gallon propane tanks we got two invisible batteries right here. If you want, I'll talk you into two six volts if you're doing a lot of dry camping. Okay, now, this is a four season coach, not a three season, not a two season. This is made to go to La Grande. This is made to go to the Wallowas. This is made to go to South Dakota in the dead of winter. That's what they build this for. Two inch sidewall, fiberglass, vacuum bonded wall one inch thick doors, slam latch door, magnetic latches. Look at the fit and finish here. This isn't just bare wood here. They've got uh, fabric over it. You've got a heavy duty kill switch on it. One of the other things, so I go any further after we close this up, this is what you want. You want a one inch thick door so Mr. Cole cannot come through and visit you while you're sleeping. You want jacks, that's what these are. Instead of hand cranking them, they're electric. Instead of one motor for two jacks, you got one switch for each jack. That way, they go down independently of one another. So if you're not in a parking lot like we are right now, and it's uneven, you don't have to worry about getting a piece of wood to block up the high side. You take care of that. New step right here. This comes right up, fills up the doorway, this way. You've seen them if you've been looking at all. Very, very sturdy step. I'm a big guy. I can get in this thing without fear of falling off of it. And I like that. Before we go inside, I want to tell you about the adjustable pitch awning. Notice it goes from here all the way to the end, okay? So, the big thing, I'm not going to go in this door because it's not nice to go into the bedroom of somebody's house first. We're going to go in the back side. So the adjustable pitch awning, I can drop the back side down, keep the rain, when the rain comes, from flowing down here over my doorway by using these holes here. 10 gallon hot water heater. Access to storage right here. This is a Let's see if I can open this thing. Probably can't. There it is. Waste basket. I'll show you how you get access to that thing. So you got to dump the garbage. You're in an RV park. You just take the waste basket out. Lockable fresh water tank. Okay. Exhaust here. Look at the wheels on this guy. U.S. made Goodyear tires. Big aluminum wheels. No rust. Back side of your fridge. Another big beautiful step. 
here's the nice part. You'll notice here on the wall behind this door, I got a stopper here, but I don't have a catch to catch to, to hold the door open. Why is that? This is what we call a friction hinge door. I'm a gust of wind. Wind ain't going to close this. You got to use a strong hand to even get the thing to open. Okay? We got a grab handle to help us old guys get in. Another jack here with its own switch. Notice in the back before we go inside. Not only did it have a front cap, it's also got a back cap with LED lights, backup lights, just like automotive. Ladder to climb up there, check everything. Got a 20 watt solar panel up on top. Five and a half inch trust roof. I'll show you why that's important when we get inside. This is a biggie. Four season. Only Nash and Arctic Fox make a true four season. This is the baby. It ain't cheap, but it sure is a wonderful rig. So being a rear living room, dual pane windows, not only does the very back one open, but check out the sides. They open also on either side. So you can get wind flow going through here. Very, very nice glider recliners. I'm looking straight at the TV right here in front of me. The fireplace for mood. I got all my controls right there, my full command center. This guy weighs 9,000 pounds as it sits empty. Dimmer switch here. I can adjust the lights on this guy. It just don't get better than that. Thomas Paine furniture. What's so great about that? You got heat and massage in the recliner. That's why the cameraman's sitting on it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful layout. Five eighths tongue and groove. Marine grade plywood underneath this mill thickness laminate that will not crack or split or anything as long as you keep it from 40 uh, below zero and above. You get below 40, no guarantees of anything. LED lighting underneath the Thomas Paine furniture that he's sitting on. You got the heat, light, massage. If this was plugged in, it shows this is where you're going to find me. If we got one of these, I'm going to be working hard sitting on that. <clears throat> nice deep slide. Table and chairs on the big boys. You need a bigger table. Why don't we just pull a leaf out and make it bigger? Pull down shades. Residential lighting. Refrigerator, you got the big boy. The 10 cubic foot Norcold. What the heck is so great about Norcold? Well, for one, you notice I open that door with one hand. I can open this door with the other one. Look at the size of that refrigerator freezer. Everybody's got a fridge, big deal, right? Why Norcold? I like the idea that I have a recessed freezer here. So I've been traveling all day. Maybe it thawed out a little bit. I open up the door. I don't have to worry about water coming down and I fall and break my bad hip, okay? Then, and I, I, I emphasize, look at the quality of this. Everybody's got a gas stove. Look at the quality of this thing. I mean, that thing is as good as a Gen Air. It's not a Gen Air, I don't think. But I'll tell you what, it's a mighty nice stove and oven. Residential, lights up. Remember that garbage can under there? Sweep it off on your solid surface countertops. Hard to brag about a backsplash, but I got to tell you, this is a beautiful backsplash. I'd like to have some of that in my house. You got a nice big microwave convection oven. What if you want to cook just like a turkey or something, you can do it with this. Storage, bar none. If there's room to put a cabinet, you got it. Look at this. Bingo, bingo. Look at how deep. Put a Lazy Susan in there. You can reach back there because it's too deep. Cabinet. Here's another thing about quality. Got a shelf here. Most of them you just got here and you stack it up and the minute you open the door all the dishes fall out. Look at the size of that counter. If you're going to be using this extensively, you want counter space. If you're not, 
I'm gonna spray you, okay? So, solid surface countertops, lots and lots of drawers, big dining room table. Here's one for you. You got a little bit of gold and silver you wanna stash somewhere, but you don't have a safe in it. How about right here? Look at this. Piano bench chairs with a hinge on it. Hide stuff under there, magazines, what have you. <clears throat> okay, we got a clock, says Arctic Pox on it. We're coming in toward the bedroom. We got a big cabinet here with shelves in it. We got the throne room. And it's big enough for two people. Pocket door here. We got the big shower. One or two people can fit in there. You got the double insulated skylight. You got the fantastic fan. You got coat racks. You got porcelain throne. Another cabinet here. And then you get into the 60 by 80 queen bed. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. God, tough job. Now you know why I've been here 20, almost 29 years. Half of us been right here on one of these beds because they're the best bed in the industry, bar none. They got a real mattress on them. What's so great about a real mattress? Right there. It's not as good as the one you probably got in your house, but it's darn good for an RV. Got storage underneath. You got a placemat to welcome, welcome into your home. Arctic Fox placemat. Notice instead of just plywood base, this gives you some spring action so the bed's not quite as hard. Very strong struts, 60 by 80 mattress, that's a regular queen. You've got the electric hookups on both sides, over the top, cabinets on both sides, cabinets here, skylight here, TV will go right there. Fantastic fan, LED lights throughout. So in the event, we're sitting here and we're out in the living room entertaining ourselves and mama's sleeping in. She can slip into the bathroom, get, get her face on and stuff before she comes out and meets a total stranger. Now, last but not least, we always need more storage. How about this? This is a little slide out. Look at this guy. Massive, massive cabinet that goes all the way back across. I'll get out of the cameraman's way so he can show this, or I'll get out of his way. I'll let, let you go on in there and get a shot of that. It, it's amazing to me the size of that cabinet. Look how far back that baby goes. Of course, I gotta undo this thing. Maybe, there we go. So here, another cabinet here. Hello! If you're carrying more than that, I hate to tell you this, you need to not be RVing. Okay, another cabinet here with shelves, up and down and then not. Last but not least, we can play tiddly wings with drawers. Where the heck did I put that thing? It's somewhere in here, I know it is. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed my video. I sure enjoyed doing it. I didn't get a very long cat nap though. Please, any questions, call the number right here. See it? I can't read it upside down. John Richardson, Garandy RV. Call me JR, the Harley guy, you'll get me. Thank you so much for letting me give you a nice video on a beautiful trailer.